Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I just got home from the gym and a very small Target pickup because we ran out of dish soap. So like literally like cannot get any out of the pump. It's all gone. So I grabbed some dish soap and then I also grabbed um, these little sodies because I tried the cheery cherry lime in a vlog and they're so good. They have like, this one has caffeine. I think the other one did not have caffeine, but it only has 37 milligrams per can. Cause you know, I'm like aware of my caffeine and it has uh, stevia, no aspartame. So we'll try this today. Cause I bought the cheery cherry lime on a whim when I was at Target. And then I looked on the app and it had like low reviews. My mom thought it tasted like cherry cough syrup. I did not get that vibe. <laughs> this one had four out of five stars and people are always kind of funky about like stevia sodas. They're never like always five stars, but um, I really enjoyed the cheery cherry lime. So I'm gonna try this one today, the Kickin' Cola. I feel like a cola, like healthy soda is never that good. So I'm really gonna be honest about how this is. So that was all I grabbed at my Target pickup. I have a grocery pickup I have to do later today. Um, I had a really good arm day today. My arms feel a little like, <laughs> and I also have like no long sleeve workout tops right now. So I wore my skims top cause it's really cold. Tis winter, but I thought I'd start off the vlog. I already drank this whole thing of water today, which is awesome. I have a couple Amazon things that came in last night. I don't know what they are. Let's see. Oh, I grabbed, I lost some of my favorite medium size hoops from Amazon, so I grabbed another pair. These are like so affordable. This is one of my favorite Amazon jewelry brands called Pavoy, looks like this. But I used to wear these hoops all the time. They're like my favorite size. I'll link them and I'll link the size I got because they have different ones and I always get this one. I love it. They are the perfect size hoops. Oh, like the perfect medium size and they don't irritate my sensitive ears. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay, good morning. They are the perfect medium size gold hoops. You've probably seen me wear them a million times, but I just have in like some little baby ones right now from Miranda Fry. So I re-grabbed those. Oh, and then we ran out of our Louisa seasoning. We buy this, um, you can get it on Amazon. We have the organic adobo and the organic sasson seasoning, and they're so good. So I ran out of the sasson. So these are so freaking good. I love the Louisa adobo as well. Um, so I will link those, mm, so yummy. And then the last box just has protein. So that's the tea, good morning. I need to do a full shower today, a hair wash day, AKA. Bruno is getting groomed at 12.30. His grooming has been pushed off a few times because his poor groomer was so sick. Um, so hopefully she's doing better. So he's gonna go to the groomer. We'll pick up groceries later. I have some editing that I need to do. I wanna do laundry. Yars in the office today so we can talk loudly. And then I also ordered a pair of Abercrombie jeans that are too big. So I'm gonna do a little exchange of drop that off at the mail place, the mail place, post office. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower and wash this hair. Oh, I actually also need to take my vitamins. I want to make my smoothie and take my greens. So let's do that first. I only had a little uh, granola protein bar before the gym, so I need to make my green smoothie. guys I have showered and blew out my hair I threw in brow gel and mascara threw on one of my fave sweatshirts super cozy there's nothing like a fresh washed and blown out hair it feels so good oh and there's a the little Amazon hoops are they just like the perfect size I don't know why I just love them I'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ear I feel like when it's like this I look like I don't know like some sort of cartoon I don't know Anyway, it is 12 o'clock. I'm gonna bring Bruno to go get groomed, pick up the groceries, and come home. It's a pretty chill day, honestly. I just thought I'd vlog. Um, laundry's going in the laundry, I would say laundry machine, the washing machine. You wanna go get groomed? You wanna go to the groomer? You wanna go see Susan? You wanna go for a ride? 
I'm gonna go for a ride and go see Susan. And go let me get my water okay it's been so long i hope they don't have to cut his hair like super short i've been trying to brush it so fingers crossed that he doesn't come back in a few hours looking like a naked mole rat all right you guys i'm back home i dropped off bruno who was so excited to see his groomer she's doing better thank gosh and i picked up our grocery order so i am starting something very exciting I am gonna be doing a little experiment. I am gonna go dairy free for two weeks and see if it helps to clear up my skin. You guys recommend it all the time. A long time ago, I tried doing like cutting back on dairy for my acne, but I don't think I did it long enough or as like intensely. Like I'm intentionally not gonna be having dairy products. I'm gonna do it for two full weeks and see if it works. I'm a little scared to do this experiment because like, if it works, am I going dairy free forever? I don't know. <laughs> so with the grocery order, I picked up some alternatives that will be replacing some of my other stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm nervous, I'm excited. I was gonna do like a separate video on it, but I figured I would like include it in the vlogs and just update you guys as we go along. We also just watched this documentary on Netflix called uh, You Are What You Eat. It's like a plant-based um, experiment on twins and it was so fascinating. And honestly, overall, Yara and I want to cut back on the amount of meat we consume and the meat we do consume. We want to make sure it's like healthy. I, the last week-ish since we watched it, um, have been eating just a lot more, a bit more intentional with what I'm eating, eating a lot more fruits and vegetables and trying to eat more plants overall. So these are just some like replacements. The majority of my diet though, I want to be, you know, like meat that's from a good source um, and obviously no dairy, mostly like mostly fruits and vegetables. Um, and I'm really just excited because I'm just kind of diving into a new health and wellness routine this year in a lot of ways that I've been talking about lately. I know I'm like a broken record, but it's just my life right now. Um, so I'm really excited <laughs> and my skin has just been like going through it. If you haven't been watching me, my, sp my skin has been going through it now for ever. Like my whole online career here for the last 13 years. Um, I've done Accutane, I've tried natural products, I've tried intense medical grade products, I've done skin treatments, and I just feel like my skin is just not happy. Um, so I'm gonna be super intentional, like I said, for two weeks, no dairy. I Googled it and it said usually two to three weeks, you should see it start to clear up. Um, and like I said, if I start to see it change after the two weeks, like, is this gonna be a permanent lifestyle change? I don't know, I'll take you guys along on this journey, but let me give you a close up of my skin right now. I'm gonna take some like before and after pics, but I just feel like every day I'm waking up with more acne and like I take really good care of my skin. Like I never sleep in makeup. I always wash my face and do like a skincare routine morning and night. Yeah, mostly my cheeks. I don't have any like hormone issues or I know I'm gonna get like, I contemplated even sharing this cause I'm gonna get like a bunch of unsolicited advice. But overall, I do see you guys saying to try to cut out dairy and I appreciate that. You know, I don't have, I don't have PCOS or thyroid issues. I get those comments a lot. I've had those checked. I think maybe it's dairy. I don't know. And the more I started to like look into it, the more I'm like, dairy's in everything. <laughs> like it's just, it's in a, not everything. It's in a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's do a little grocery haul and share what I got. So I really like these spudsy snacks. I've shared them before. Like if I'm gonna have like a little sandwich or a little like fruit plate with like a little crunch on the side, I'll do like something like this. So these sweet potato puffs are the plant-based cheesy cheddar and it's made with like, rice flour, pea protein, um, but it's dairy free. It's vegan all around and they're very delicious. I really like spudsy snacks. Um, I got us just our usual avocado olive oil blend. Back to nature, cheddalicious little things. These are just like, I don't eat snacks all day, but sometimes I want a little crunch. Like I said, I'm trying to make the majority of my diet healthy, lean protein, beans, fruit and veg, that kind of situation. I've been living for cucumbers and hummus lately. That's been like my go-to snack. These are Yarman's cereals. So those are for him. And like he's down to have some of my dairy-free stuff too. So it's not gonna be like horrible. I also got um, 
some pistachios no shells love that because like one of my go-to snacks when i just need like a quick protein blast is um like a cheese stick it's kind of my go-to grab and go um i was gonna kind of replace that with like nuts that's gonna be like my quick thing i already have almonds um in the cabinet um, i grabbed just one of these vegan mac from annie's uh this is just so i can have stuff in the house don't just don't judge me if you're here to judge me like please just go like it's fucking weird why do you care oh these are not refrigerated oh okay so two nights a week we're gonna do um meatless meals so i was gonna do like one of my favorite homemade pizzas with italian plant sausage meatless crumbles they are not i thought they were gonna be like frozen you just use oil and water in a skillet and it makes them in they had good reviews we'll see i'll keep you guys posted um and then i also got just uh tuna uh tuna is a great protein for me as well um and i'm gonna have it just like on a sandwich for a dairy-free lunch option this is one of yar's fave popcorns this stuff is very good the lesser evil their snacks are really delicious uh pita chips um uh, we've been eating broccoli a lot so i got more frozen broccoli i finished it last night okay here's some stuff i did a lot of research on dairy-free products that people really like follow your heart was very popular i got their veganaise so to go with my tuna And also their ranch was very popular. Dairy-free, egg-free, vegan, cholesterol and preservative-free, high omega, certified plant-based. I don't know. Had really, really great reviews. And I love ranch, so I needed to find a good ranch. Got some Earth Balance vegan butter. I've bought that before. More cucumbers. I eat these a lot. Um, and then some jumbo blueberries and some pineapple. We go through fruit really quickly. Um, and then this is really good. I've tried this before. Kite Hill, their queso is very, very delicious. So that's very good. And then the last bag, plant-based cheddar cheese. Yeah, hopefully it's good. I got a almond milk creamer, French vanilla. I love Califia's cold brew, so I figured I would try this. I needed to find a healthier creamer anyway than my sugar-free coffee mate. So yeah, this one's made with almond milk. We'll see how it is. I did not like the Nut Pods one when I tried it very much. And then the whole grain, ancient grain pizza dough for that pizza. So I'm gonna do those Italian crumbles and then this whipped ricotta plant-based from Kite Hill. So I got that as well. The dairy-free stuff is a, a lot more expensive, which is a bummer, but I really wanna give this experiment like a full shot. I got this, I think by accident, <laughs> the Vio Life cream cheese i'm sure i'll use it actually i do like that with like cucumbers and everything bagel seasoning so um and then lastly i have mexican style shreds because like i like putting this on like eggs if i have eggs or you know you just use cheese for stuff sometimes and then i got um mozzarella shreds from daya melts like dairy that's why i got this one because this one's gonna go on the pizza so that's gonna be like a fully plant-based pizza and i have pizza sauce already that hasn't doesn't have dairy so you know you know we'll see how it goes it's hard because it has like no protein and cheese usually gives me a lot of protein so i'm gonna have to be very mindful of getting my protein in other ways like with a handful of nuts eating more meat more chicken um so look out <laughs> it's like there's my mind is in a million different directions it's like I am just so sick of struggling with my skin. I love not wearing makeup. And like, I have chosen to like let go of feeling bad about my acne, but like, would I love my skin to clear up? Yes, I would like that. So we're just gonna give it a full shot. If it goes well, great, we figured it out. If it doesn't go well, great, we can go back to eating dairy. I'm gonna put all this away and I actually need to make myself some lunch now. It's 1.11. So I think maybe I'll do, maybe I'll make the tuna. I wanna make like a sandwich of sorts and then like some cucumbers and hummus. And yeah, all right, I'll be back with lunch. All right, so I'm going to review the Follow Your Heart Veganaise. This did have really good reviews. Cause I'm just gonna make some tuna and have it with some 
pita chips and cucumber for lunch. I want to see if this tastes like regular old mayonnaise, you know? I don't really have mayonnaise often except for tuna, but I figured this would be a great like proteiny lunch to have like in this new rotation. So I usually just make the whole can and then save what I don't use for another time. This just, oh, I forgot I took the plastic off. I'm like, this was not sealed. It smells like mayonnaise. <laughs> Looks like mayonnaise and smells like mayonnaise. Fingers crossed. All right, there she goes. It's giving mayo. It's definitely giving mayo. I did so much, like I said, research on these products and like what tastes the best and the most natural. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little test. Oh, it's good. It has like, a slightly different tang to it, but like not in a bad way. A little more watery, less like gelatinous. <laughs> That's gross, I'm sorry. Mm. It's good. I don't think I'd even really notice if you didn't tell me. I see why this has good reviews. Overall, like I said, the Follow Your Heart brand had the highest like ratings in terms of like taste and stuff. So, all right, cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a little lunch plate. I'm literally just gonna like dip the tuna with pita and cucumbers. Mm. It's gonna be so good. So far, so good. I'm also sharing this on TikTok and Instagram. So like for daily little bites about this, feel free to follow me over there. Okay guys, here is lunch. So delish. Um, I'm really loving this tuna. So I'm excited. I'm gonna eat my lunch and get some work done. Many hours later. All right, you guys, checking back in. It is a bit later now. I have just been editing after I had lunch. That's been the day today doing stuff on the computer. But I've had those favorite day drinks in the fridge now since like this morning. So let's crack open. Let's see if it's good. ASMR, not really. Okay, as I said, I have tried the Zevia and another like gut healthy soda before um, that was like Coke or cola flavored and it wasn't good. It wasn't, I mean, it was like, it just it wasn't Coke. It didn't taste like cola. Um, let's be brutally honest, it smells good. So, ooh, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Ooh, that's pretty good. Maybe since I don't like drink Diet Coke like water anymore, <laughs> this tastes more like comparing it before probably wasn't as good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put it in a glass with ice and a true lime. Okay, let's use one of our cute little Valentine's Day cups. Oh, it's brown. We're gonna add a pack of true lime, which is just crystallized lime. But this tastes so much better than Zevia Cola. Zevia Cola, I wish I liked Zevia, I just don't, but I'm glad that they're coming out with other like Stevia soda alternatives, so. All right, let's see how it is with some uh, True Lime. That could almost pass for like a Diet Coke with uh, True Lime in it. I'm actually kind of shocked. I really didn't think it would be that good. The True Lime definitely helps to take it there. Okay, I recommend. Uh, they're at Target, so. These had the four stars. I think these had the highest star ratings for, or maybe the orange had four stars too, I don't remember, but this had four out of five stars, and the cheery cherry lime only had like, I think two and a half or three or something, so. I, correct me if I'm wrong, or don't, because I'm probably wrong. But, okay! Yummy, I'm excited. Six and a half hours later. Mr. Sploot, someone's back from the groomer. I gave him a bone for being such a good boy. Wow. He's so fluffy. She did a great job. She didn't take off as much as we usually do, which is what I wanted, because you got to stay warm in the snow. Isn't that right? Look at the paw. <laughs> you look so handsome. You look so handsome. So beautiful. Did you have fun? Did you have a good time? Very handsome. Very beautiful. Smell delicious. Tomorrow. Hey you guys, it is the next day. I can't even remember the last time that I vlogged. I mean, I know it was yesterday. I just don't know what I vlogged last. So I just got back from the gym. It's already 11.30 and I had a really good workout. I just got home and I'm really excited because I got my Sephora package because I needed, 
I needed something and I ended up getting a couple other things to try out with you guys. Okay, yes, I'm super excited. I got my birthday gift as well. So I got this little Patrick Ta um, travel size brow lamination gel in Major Glow Lip Shine. So that'll be fun to try. What was I most excited about? Oh, I got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer um, because I really have been enjoying like not throwing on a whole face lately, but having something, a tinted moisturizer just sounded nice. So I did like the color match thing on Sephora where like you put in your perfect match with a different foundation and it will match you. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's gonna work or not. Today is day two of Dairy Free. Yesterday went pretty smooth. I tried a new creamer this morning that I did not like. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was very much okay. I posted it already on TikTok and Instagram. Um, and then I also, oh, this was what I needed to reorder because I've been scooping out the product <laughs> from the Rare Beauty uh, Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I get the shade Happy Soul. This is like probably my favorite product of 2023. This bronzer stick, it's so creamy. It blends out so nice. I love blending out a nose contour with my little sponge. I love contouring the whole face. It's just beautiful, creamy. Ugh, stunning. So that was what I repurchased. I've seen a lot of people rave about the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Um, it got a little bit, a little bit leaky, but not too bad. Soothe, purify, and renew. Everyone is claiming this is great for uh, acne prone skin, just like a facial spray. So I got the smaller size one and we'll see how it is. Hoping the Dairy Free does a little something here, but we'll see. Um, and then I also grabbed one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blushes because I'm pretty sure this was on sale and I have the one called Big Ego and I love it. It's like a really fun, beautiful, bright pink, like a hot pink. So I got a more muted shade called just Rose and it's just like very, very, very beautiful. Um, I'm excited to use that. I love the Tarte Maracuja products and I just love Tarte in general. Tarte has some really good products like they had the 24 hour Amazonian clay stuff and their products actually stay on because powder doesn't always stay on that long. Um, and the last thing I got is a new Dior lip glow oil because I had two and they're both so empty. Like there's nothing left in those. So a couple of repurchases. I got the cherry color. It's just like this really light pink. Doesn't really do that much. I've just had this one I think and the clear. I don't think it really adds much of a tint per se, but um, I just, ugh, there's something about the formula of this that I love. Now I have to decide if I wanna keep this in my purse or in my office, cause I usually have one in each spot and they're both empty, but I just love it. So I'm gonna shower and then I wanna try on this tinted moisturizer and see how it is. And maybe this brow lamination, maybe we'll just like play with these few little products that I got. And then I also Amazoned more of my bariatric prenatal vitamins. For anyone curious, I get the ProCare Health ones. So if you're TTC and bariatric or bariatric and pregnant, that is what my doctor recommended. <laughs> Probably talk to your doctor. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower and get ready for the day and let's play with these products. All right, you guys, I just showered and I'm gonna try out these new products. Look how cute. This headband is, I got it on Amazon. It's so cute, it's got little zigzags. It came in like a multicolor pack, but I just think it's very nostalgic. So I'll link them, they were super affordable. So I wanna learn to do just really quick light makeup. Cause I feel like even my quick light makeup is not really, it's quick, but it's not that light. So here is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I got the shade 12C. So I don't know why it has this little divot. It's kind of cool though. So let's give it a whirl. Hopefully it's pale enough because I tend to end up getting ones that are not pale enough. But I want to be able to just apply this with my hands. Uh, so, and I know it might end up looking too pale at first. And yes, that's still beeping. We actually can't figure it out. It's not a regular battery. It might look too pale, but like every time I end up <laughs> Getting a foundation I think matches really well. It ends up being too dark and doesn't match my neck. And then I can see the line. It drives me nuts. I'm kind of just looking for something to even out my skin tone a little bit. It can still look, 
you know, imperfect, but this just adds like something really simple. I did use that Tower 28 spray after I washed my face as well. Didn't add much, which is fine. It's just a tinted moisturizer. I guess it evened me out a little bit. Sometimes putting makeup on with the Aura Ring, it's so thick. <laughs> it makes it a little bit uh, difficult. I'm gonna go in with another layer and I'm sure I can get more coverage out of this if I applied it with a sponge, but I'm also kind of looking for something I can just apply in the bathroom with my hands quickly after skincare, you know? But I mean, it feels very lightweight. It's not like greasy. It might look pale, but it does, <laughs> it does match the neck pretty well. For the pale months, it will definitely do what it needs to do. Overall, it evened me out a little bit, but the good thing is with these kind of things, you can just spot conceal any blemishes or dark marks. So we'll just do a few little dots and a tiny bit under each eye. I'm using, to blend that out, the Jessup 110 Face Shape Brush. My favorite Amazon brushes. I can't rave about them enough. They're so affordable, such great quality. I've had them for years. I'll link them again. But I love this one to buff out concealer. So we're getting that a little bit of even coverage all over, but you're still gonna get that very natural. Look, I like that this dried down. It did not stay like super shiny. Like I don't feel like it's gonna just slip off, which is really nice. I'm glad this is at the end of the vlog for anyone that misses <laughs> the makeup content. So if you're still here and you miss the makeup, shout out to you. Still imperfect on the skin, that's fine. We want it to look pretty natural and I'm gonna take some of the, oh, my new one, I love this stuff, you guys. Oh, creamy, creamy, creamy. So I'm just gonna apply this. I have more of like a warm bronzy color. I have a darker cool tone shade for like just where I want to contour contour, but this is just gonna add some warmth to the face. Using the bronzer stick with um, a little mini beauty blender. Ugh, a 10 out of 10 quick experience. This looks way more orangey when I'm not wearing like real foundation. When I wear it with like full real glam, I feel like it looks better. We're kind of just experimenting right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blush in the shade Rose. I just, I know this is gonna be like so beautiful. I knew I took too much. I always do that. I get too excited. Okay, but like I haven't blended it, but that color is so freaking pretty. All right, I'm switching brushes because I think that brush has way too much product. Oh my God, that is such a beautiful blush. This is for like quick days and when you don't want, you don't need something to last all day because like it's kind of full glamour bust when I have like a really long day. But this is great for just like kind of chilling at home, editing, running to the store, shooting a little content. If I feel like putting makeup on, most days I honestly don't ever really wear makeup. I used to wear makeup a lot more often. And then I'm still loving this, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel. So freaking good. But the days I put a little bit of makeup on, I just find that I'm so much more productive, especially with making content, you know? I make a lot of content makeup free and I hope that inspires you to like love your skin you know, the way it is, but I do find I'm a little bit more productive when I like get ready, put on a real outfit, put on a little something on my face. So I'm trying to find that happy little middle ground. All right, I'm gonna blend that concealer again. I do have to add powder under my eyes because they crease really, really bad. But I am gonna use the Matte Velvet Skin from Makeup Forever with a little triangle puff. And I'm not gonna like do any baking or anything. I'm just gonna kind of press that into place add a little bit on my eyelids so they don't crease. And then you can take a little bit of that powder on the T-zone if you need to take away a little shine or if you're worried it won't stay on. But I'm leaving like the cheeks dewy. So yeah, this is like super easy chill makeup. Very, very simple. So as you can see the base, you can still see Blemishes come through, skin still looks like skin, and I'm gonna set it with the Rare Beauty Setting Spray. I have been using this kind of a lot lately. I went through a phase where I didn't grab it at all, and lately I've been grabbing it a lot. But I feel like it adds a really pretty, kind of soft, luminous finish to the skin. Oh, I forgot to use, <laughs> I forgot to use the Patrick Ta Brow Freeze. I don't wanna use it now that I have product in, because it's like a clear, gel, but I do want to use that and then this 
Uh, she's expensive. Major shine. Oh, it's lip shine. Oh, we could still try this. <laughs> I thought it was for your eyes, but look at how, look, oh, look how stunning that is. Let's just try it for fun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it has like kind of a little, a little bit of shimmer. Actually, it has a lot of shimmer. It's like glitter. Mmm. It kind of smells like lip gloss from when we were kids. Do you like how I say we? <laughs> you and me, but it's giving like lip smacker and I like it. Mmm, pretty. This is my toxic trait. I wanna add more blush. Like girl, I'm gonna take just the excess from the first brush. Yeah, see, now it's aggressive. Now I need to like calm down. Calm down. I'm going to throw on some mascara, my favorite. This is the best mascara. It is blowing up right now for a reason, the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. It will keep your lashes up. Length, volume, buildability. Mm, it's it's the best so I'm gonna throw on mascara okay so here is how the makeup looks I like how the skin still looks pretty natural and if I wasn't filming this this would probably take like five minutes that's Bruno <laughs> um, but it's still very glowy I don't even need highlighter because I left the cheek area powderless so it's just more glowy but overall I feel like I could manage to do this <laughs> you know quickly especially on the days where i don't want to do a full makeup but like like i said just doing something makes me feel more productive so that is the makeup look of the day i actually think i'm around the time where i should probably end this vlog i think i have a lot of footage and i should probably start another one but thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> yeah today's video i love you guys so much and i'll see you again in a couple days bye